Hello children, how are you all? We'll start our new lesson, lesson number 9, the earth, our habitat. Our habitat means where we live. We'll start this lesson by asking a simple question, where do you live? Your simple answer, ma'am, I live in our home. Where is your home? My home is on the earth. Earth is our huge home. Earth is also the member of the solar system. Let us discuss about the solar system. What is solar system? Sun is self-illuminated star of Mandakini galaxy. A galaxy is a large constellation in which there is a central world and three rotating arm. Each galaxy consists of billions of stars. Our own galaxy is known as Mandakini galaxy which has a spiral in shape. Here you see this is a spiral in shape means a long curved line move round and round from the center point. Our galaxy is also known as Milky Way galaxy because it appears as a milky band of light which is really seen it in a dark area. Due to the gravitational force of the sun and the gravitational force of the planet, these planets move round the sun in a circular form. In, in, in a circular form. These planets are of different sizes and shape. These planets will together make a solar system or solar family. Sun is the key member of the solar system. Now, in solar system, planets, satellites, small planets, comets and meteors are included in our solar system. The sun. We are familiar with the sun. Our daily life begins with the sunrise. The sun is about 30 million times larger than the earth. If you want to make a revolution around the sun, if you sit in a plane running at a velocity of 1000 kilometers, it will take how much year, years it take? It takes 107, 107 years to complete the revolution. Now children, gravitational force of sun is 28 times, kitna bada 28 times more than that of earth. Hence the weight of a substance on earth weigh 1 kg means 1 kg on earth is equal to 28 kg on the surface of the sun. It is because of this gravitational force only that the planets are in their particular path and revolves on it. The earth is about in your textbook here it is written 15 that you have to correct it here it comes instead of 15 comes 150 million you have to correct this one 15 kilometer cut karke 150 million kilometers you have to write down away from the sun 15 kilometer to ho nahi sakta because it is very nearer okay so the earth is about 150 million kilometers away from the sun it takes how much time it takes to reach uh, uh, how much time it takes for sunlight to reach the surface of the earth it takes about quarter past 8 minute how much time quarter past 8 minute for sunlight to reach the surface of earth now that you have to correct it on your textbook page number 47 the surface of earth is always unstable the sun core is made up of hydrogen gas. It provides heat and light from the action of hydrogen and helium gas which we call as energy. Due to these energy only organisms have developed in this planet. The sun is also called the guardian of the organism and is also the giver of life on the earth. There are total 8 planets in our solar system. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. There are 
four inner planets they are mercury venus earth and mars and jupiter saturn uranus and neptune are called outer planets do you remember the name of the planet according to their location just you learn one sentence my very excellent mother just served us noodles you take one alphabet from each word my m for mercury mercury is the closer to the sun it is yellowish in color it has no satellite and atmosphere you can see mercury before the sunrise and after the sunset now second is v for venus it is a dazzling planet dazzling planet means it is so bright that you cannot see for a short time after looking it it has no satellite now third e e for earth it is between the venus and the mars it has only one satellite that is moon if you want to make one rotation on its axis that is in 24 hours and complete one revolution around the sun is in 365 days now second m for mars it is beautiful red colored illuminated star it has two satellites now third is fourth is fifth is jupiter it has light yellow white planet it has 79 satellite and it is the largest planet in our solar system s s for saturn it is beautiful with white rings of blue color look different because of these ring it is also called the turban planet and it has 62 satellite now next is u for uranus an astronomer named william herschel discovered this planet in 1781 it is very cold planet now last is neptune it is green in color atmosphere contain toxic gas called methane and here you see the seasonal variation in this planet now next is meteors meteors are, are seen at night it consists of piece of rock or a small part of rock of stars or both it travels at high speed when meteors comes near the earth it drags towards the earth with great speed which is about 50 to 60 kilometers away from the earth it burns due to great friction with the atmosphere at that time a large a large luminous belt belt like light is seen in the sky which we call fallen star means toota hua tara sometimes these meteorites does not burn completely at that time it falls on the earth with tremendous speed a big depression it creates a big depression on the earth depressions are filled with water lakes are formed lake koana in maharashtra is believed to have formed in such a way now sec now next topic is constellation what is constellation a group of star or even single star is known as constellation sometimes these these constellation have a specific in shape due to mass of stars there are 27 constellation like revti vishakha punarvasu orion rohini pushya arya swati etc these constellations are of different sizes and shape remembering the names of these constellation is very difficult but you can easily visualize by repeated viewing and understanding we uh, also uh, remember the constellation on the auspicious day like push nakshat at that day gold and silver is purchased now next topic is location of 
shape of earth can you tell me what is the shape of the earth the shape of the earth is spherical in shape our astronauts have gone up to the moon they have taken the photographs from the space it has spherical in shape we are living in a small town or village we are able to see a small part of earth from that point of view we cannot say that earth is spherical in shape have you seen broken earthen pot you have take a small piece of earthen pot can you imagine it would have been round in shape from this point of view view we cannot say that the earth is round but there is no doubt our astronaut went to the moon they have taken photograph that earth is round earth is not round like a ball it is like an orange here you see in both the pole this is north pole always top and side is the north pole and downward is the so south pole and here in the middle it is the imaginary line equator equator divides the earth into two equal half north pole and south pole here you see on both the poles are slightly flat here you see this is poles are slightly flat and inflated at the equator and slightly inflated at the equator the globe of the earth is the small replica of the earth in this we have shown the continent oceans imaginary line and the map of the world now the pole star there is a star in the sky which always appear in the same direction and in the same place the polar star can be easily detected with the help of constellation saptrishi you will see a bright sky bright star in the sky while moving in the direction of the fabulous line connecting with two stars in front of saptrishi that is called the pole star the earth is divided into two parts north pole and south pole pole star you can easily seen in the northern hemisphere due to the circular device here you see this is the circular device you cannot see pole star in the southern direction due to circular device due to the circular form of the earth those who are travel by sea or in desert can easily detect the pole star now next topic is what is latitude and longitude imaginary lines are imaginary horizontal lines are called latitude the vertical lines are called longitudes these lines are seen on the map of the earth not seen on the earth surface here is you see this is a 0 degree imaginary line 0 degree equator equator the part above the equator is called the northern hemisphere the part towards the south towards means below the equator is called the southern hemisphere now 23.5 degree north latitude this lines are called latitudes okay these lines are parallel to the equator these lines are called latitude 23.5 degree north latitude is called tropic of cancer 23.5 degree south latitude is called tropic of capricorn remember one thing always south and north latitude is compulsory to write if you write any location of any place now 66.5 degree north latitude is called the arctic circle 66.5 degree is called the antarctic circle now equator divides the earth into two equal halves north pole and south pole now vertical lines are called longitude it divides the earth into two parts eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere in my hand what are they 
वन इज गुड डे बिस्किट एंड अनदर इज ऑरेंज जब आप लोग ये दो चीज़ देखेंगे तो आप लोग को याद आ जाएगा वॉट आर हॉरिजेंटल लाइन एंड वॉट आर वर्टिकल्स लाइन इफ यू सी द गुड डे बिस्किट दीज हॉरिजेंटल लाइन्स हे यू सी दीज हॉरिजेंटल लाइन्स आर कॉल्ड लैटिट्यूड मीन्स पैरल ऑफ लैटिट्यूड दिस इज इक्वेटर जीरो डिग्री इक्वेटर ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री इज ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड 23.5 डिग्री साउथ लैटिट्यूड इज ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन 66.5 डिग्री हियर यू सी द लाइन्स लैटिट्यूड नर लाइन्स ओके हियर यू सी 66.5 डिग्री नॉर्थ लैटिट्यूड इट मीन्स इट इज आर्टिक सर्कल एंड 66.5 साउथ लैटिट्यूड इट मीन्स इट इज एंटार्टिक सर्कल नाउ सेकेंड इज और here you see here is a vertical lines here you see this is the vertical lines okay these vertical lines are called longitude when only in vertical lines 180 degree and 0 degree is must total vertical lines how much 360 vertical lines are there if you divide it into two parts one part is called this is the western hemisphere and always right hand side is the eastern hemisphere okay this 180 degree is called the international date line okay it divides the earth into two equal part and 0 degree is called the prime meridian which passes through greenwich england now here you see टोटल लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स आर 181. ये लाइन्स कितनी होती हैं लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स आर 181. एटी वन एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स आर वन हंड्रेड इलेवन किलोमीटर मीन्स सपोज दिस इज टू लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दीज टू लैटिट्यूडनल लाइन्स इज वन हंड्रेड इलेवन किलोमीटर now what is linear circle the north south straight line the north south straight lines connecting the imaginary surface of the original linear to the earth axis at the same angular distance along the earth surface is called linear circle now this distance the distance between the tropic of cancer and tropic of Can uh, capricorn is called the solid solstices okay and the sun the speed of the sun between the tropic of cancer and tropic of cancer means jitni speed hai sun ki tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn ke beech mein usko bolte hain solstices and the difference between the two ye jo angle ban raha hai isko bolte hain solstices it takes six month for this speed of the sun earth is tilted have you seen the globe globe of earth is tilted towards one side okay earth is tilted the at corner at 23.5 degree the sun rays fall almost straight between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn hope understood the lesson thank you